Recently, I talked about a, uh, a plugin for WordPress called Fluent CRM, and it's basically putting a full email list full marketing automation platform right inside of WordPress. Now, in the process of checking out Fluent CRM, I came across a really cool forms plugin called WP Fluent Forms, okay? It's from the exact same company. Now, I've been using Gravity Forms forever for all of my forms on WordPress, but I recently checked out Fluent Forms. What I'm gonna do here is give you a quick comparison between the two, and I'm gonna show you why I've actually decided to switch everything from Gravity Forms over to Fluent Forms. Okay, so Gravity Forms is probably one of the oldest plugins for WordPress that does forms, okay? And for that reason, it's quite developed. It does quite a bit of things. And that's, you know, I, I think it's one of the oldest ones. It's certainly one of the first ones I came across. And that's why I've been using it for so long. In fact, I was grandfathered into a price point that you just can't even get anymore. Um, and that's one reason why I was using it for so long. Now, Fluent Forms is a more, uh, it's a newer arrival to the scene, but it's quite developed and it, there's a lot of feature overlap between these two systems uh, but I'm going to show you that there's there's interface differences there are some field differences but not too many of them and there's a really big difference when it comes to the price Okay, so I'm in the back end of the lab here, and right now I've got both Forms plugins installed because I'm actually in the process of transitioning from one to the other. Um, this is one of my main forms, which is the Help Hotline inside the lab. You can see this is the Gravity Forms interface. It's very linear, top to bottom here. Um, it's a very WordPress focus type of interface here. In, in other words, that the interface uses WordPress admin styling. And so the buttons look like standard WordPress. Everything more or less looks like standard WordPress here. Uh, you've got your forms over here on this side as far, as far as the different fields. You've got some advanced fields that you can use. I, I don't actually use them all that often. And then if you wanted to create forms for people to submit custom post types and stuff, you do have some options. And then pricing fields because you actually can create order forms with this. Now, Keep in mind, you don't have the add-ons to actually process any orders unless you have the adequate plan, but you can create basic order forms with this. Um, but that's the way it works. Now, the interface here, this is where you get the confirmations, the notifications. Um, you know, you have to go to di these different screens in here. But once again, you can see how it's a very WordPress-centric type of interface and you know whether it's using WordPress styling kind of what you would expect and that's a pretty big difference from the way that Fluent Forms does things. Okay inside of Fluent Forms this is pretty much the exact same form it's just that I rebuilt it inside of Fluent Forms but you can see the interface is a little bit more what you see is what you get here. Um, over in Gravity Forms if I come over go back to the editor every field is actually collapsed here and then so you have to open up these things and i gotta be honest with you sometimes these little collapsible things are annoying and that they like they just don't act the way that you would expect uh, i've had them lock up before uh, and i don't know why that is actually but when i go over here it just seems like a quicker interface it's almost like there it's a little bit more what you see is what you get and that when you're editing your form it's going to look a lot more like what it's actually going to look like on your website here, which is what you would want. Uh, if you click on one of these, you can edit all of your options for these different fields. You can see how it moves. Uh, it's very standard. It's also a pretty quick interface uh, because I don't have to collapse anything. It's just like, boom, there it is. And so I, I find it to be actually simpler to use. When we go over to the settings area, you'll see that again, it's using, it's not using the, um, the CSS that is actually part of WordPress admin, it is essentially using its own. So it, it does have a prettier interface. You know, it's, it's just an easier to get around. Um, it, this is a, a, just a really nice, pretty interface, which is something that Gravity Forms doesn't quite so much have. It's functional, but it's because it's having to, to do everything using the, the built-in WordPress setup. But, you know, it's, it's, they're all doing essentially the same thing. Coming back to Gravity Forms, we, we have a lot of the same basic fields between these two because some fields are just absolutely standard. As I'll show you in just a minute, uh, you do have a few more field options with Fluent Forms that I think are kind of cool. But one thing I wanted to point out here with the interface is how with Gravity Forms, it is very top down. It's very linear. In other words, you can't really put fields side by side uh, without doing some fancy style sheet work on the front end in order to make that happen. 
Let's compare that to fluent forms. So first of all, with the fields, you've got a few, uh, you got some cool field options here, like the color picker, the repeat fields, chain select field, where, you know, by you, you select an option and drop down number one, and then it will dynamically change the, the, the options and drop down number two and that kind of thing is actually really cool. So you, a, a range slider field. So you do have some form field options in fluent forms that you just don't have with gravity forms. The other thing I want to point out are these containers because you actually can easily put fields side by side and visually do, you know, design your form. And so let me just demonstrate. We just act like we're putting in a two column container. There we go. Now we're going to add some stuff. So let's go ahead and add a name field there. This is definitely, we're not going to keep this, but you can see how visual this is. You just can't do that without doing some fancy development stuff on, or maybe some, there's some add on out there for gravity forms, but it's all baked right in with these container fields and fluent forms. One of the big differences between these two plugins comes when it comes to add-ons, okay? Now, this is for the Gravity Forms add-ons, and you can see that there's a lot of add-ons available for it because there actually is a lot of third-party support for Gravity Forms. That's one of the really cool things, and it's because Gravity Forms has been around for so long, and it's pretty, it's definitely a standard when it comes to Forms plugins for WordPress. But you can see that a lot of these, you know, you, you need to upgrade to have them. Uh, they're just not included. Like, almost every one of these I do not have access to and it's because I have a very basic plan okay um, and so I don't have these things um, yeah like I'm just going down PayPal partial entries I mean all of these are pretty much off limits to me and so that's one of the big things with gravity forms is that in order to use a lot of these different add-ons in order to integrate with various things you are going to need one of the more expensive plans to make that happen if we pop back over to fluent forms though Everything is included. That's one of the biggest differences with this. Now, these are all the add-ons. Now, we don't have those fancy logos uh, all here, but there's the same things like webhooks, uh, Zapier integration. I think you need the most expensive Gravity Forms uh, license in order to get that with Gravity Forms, whereas with here, it's already there. So basically, all these are available to me, all these integrations, everything, okay? All you gotta do is enable it. Right now, you can see I've only got one turned on, and that's for WP Fusion, because I I actually do have uh, that installed and I use it on my site but that's what it is now you can look around there might be some add-ons that are, look like they're available for gravity forms that are not for fluent forms and that's certainly possible uh, likely in fact however there are some things with gravity forms that you would need add-ons for that are just sort of built into fluent forms already for example they've got the um, if we go back over here I don't know if it's an add-on or not but they've got a thing for PDFs or maybe it's a third-party thing like gravity PDF in order to export form entries into a PDF whereas if you go over here to to uh, Fluent, we've got Fluent Forms PDF. It's baked right in. Now it is an additional plugin, but you can just install it for free. Um, it, it's all that, that's one of the biggest themes here between these two is that with Gravity Forms, things are more piecemeal. Okay, you're going to need the more expensive license options, or you're going to need to go out and get a third-party license to some other product to get some of the things that you want. Whereas with Fluent Forms, you have a lot more that's just included standard right out the gate. If you wanted to build those order forms with Gravity Forms, you're going to need an add-on like, like Stripe. You're going to need to be able to process credit cards via Stripe. Okay, If we pop over here, you'll be able to do all that. In fact, you've got a payments thing that's built right into the system here. So all we got to do is enable these things and set it up, and you can do order forms with Fluent Forms. One of the things I really like about Fluent Forms as well is these visual reports of basically you know your form inputs it's it this is like having running a survey using a form all in house gravity forms has a survey add on but again you need the most expensive license to have it whereas with fluent forms it's just 
part of the core product. You just click on the button to go to the visual report, and you can see here that this is uh, my one of my onboarding forms for uh, for free members. And I just implemented this form, you know, like a week or so ago. But you can see that I'm getting visual data here, where I can actually view and see what's going on in this form visually to see. For example, I ask people what niche they're in. I have a, be a beautiful thing here where I can just see what niches people are in. I can see that 30% of people right now will say they don't really know what their niche is coming in here. Nine that are in tech and web development, 9%, which I actually find interesting. But, you know, it, this is a visual report, whereas if you go over to the Gravity Form side, unless you've got the survey add-on, all you get is a raw list of data. So you either got to export that into Excel and create some type of report, or you're going to need that survey add-on. It's all just baked in here, beautiful, visual, graphical, all inside of Fluent Forms. Okay, let's talk pricing. So if we come over to the Gravity Forms website, you can see their pricing starts at $59 per year. It is recurring, of course, like most things for ongoing support. And this is basically the basic stuff, and it's for one website. Okay, so that's what it is. It starts at $59. Um, and then it goes up quickly from there, depending on that, what how many add-ons you want and how many sites you want to run it on. And if you want to go up to the unlimited sites uh, and basically have access to all of the add-ons, you're, you're looking at two $259 per year for the elite license. Okay, so that's the way Gravity Forms works. Um, as you, as I just showed you, there are a lot of things that are only available for Gravity Forms as an add-on. And, uh, and so sometimes, even if you don't plan to be running it on a gob of sites, if you need some of those elite add-ons, you're going to still need that $259 per year. If we pop on over to the Fluent Forms site, uh, we've got a few options here. First, the annual, once again, starts at $59 nine dollars per year so it's the exact same price as far as number of dollars however keep in mind you're getting all the add-ons okay everything is just baked in you don't you're, it's not you know there's no <laughs> delineation there if you want to go up to five sites we're at 129 dollars uh, versus this is three sites for 159 over on the gravity side and if you want unlimited you're going to 199 dollars which it's 259 over on gravity okay uh, but they do also have the lifetime options for fluent forms as well um, for a single site $249 you have the whole darn thing for your main website and uh, you never have to renew it okay um, five sites is 449 unlimited and 799 so um, you know it's it's a it's I would say that fluent forms is definitely the better deal not only is it cheaper in most cases but you're getting all those add-ons available for free so i just feel like you're getting a lot more for your money with fluent forms than with gravity okay well being that we're looking at two forms plugins as you can see there's a lot of feature overlap between the two because at the end of the day good solid forms plugins for WordPress. They all kind of need to do the same stuff, okay? Now keep in mind, you don't need either one of these if all you want to do is a basic contact form, okay? It would sort of be overkill because as you can see, both products do way more than that. This is for basically some, you know, you have a lot of forms in your site, you're doing a little bit more advanced things, especially if you're running a membership site and you wanna have, you know, forms that are collecting more data that integrate with their WordPress profile so you don't want to ask them their name and email, those kinds of things, you're definitely gonna need a forms plugin. Gravity Forms has been around a long time. They've got really good third-party support. They've got a lot of add-ons. You can search the plugin repository and find a lot of other add-ons for, uh, for, for Gravity Forms. So that's probably the biggest thing in the, in the column of Gravity Forms is that if you have certain custom needs where you need one of those add-ons uh, or you are a developer and you want to do some custom stuff with the data that you're submitting with those Gravity Forms forms, then Gravity Forms is the better way to go there because it does have more developer support. It's got hooks on each field. You can actually write custom functions and, and process those data, that the form data in interesting ways. Uh, and so it's, it's very robust in that capacity. Now, I'm imagining that most of you guys are not in that situation. And for that reason, I think that Fluent Forms is probably the better deal. It pretty much does everything for the most part. It gets you about probably 90% of the way to what Gravity Forms can do. Um, but keep in mind, you're getting all the add-ons, whereas with Gravity Forms, you're sort of having, you're either, you're, 
just having to get a more expensive license to get them, or you got to go elsewhere and get a third party thing that's not even part of Gravity Forms uh, and, and pay more money for that. The I will say the the uh, company behind Fluent Forms are also creating a really nice ecosystem. Um, as I mentioned at the beginning, they've got Fluent CRM, and so there's a really beautiful marriage between the Fluent Forms plugin and Fluent CRM. They're also coming out with a support product. Okay, and now this this I, I I can't go into right now. I haven't even played with it yet. I've only seen it, but they're they're coming out with a support desk product that will operate inside of WordPress. And think about the ecosystem that's going to be built there if you use all their plugins where you have a customer profile inside the CRM you can see exactly what forms they filled out all on the same screen pretty cool all right so uh, they're creating a really nice ecosystem uh, gravity forms doesn't really have that you'd have to go out there and find some some add-ons and being that they're all being created by different people it's not going to probably have that nice seamless experience that you can have with Fluent Forms and using that ecosystem that that company, WP Managed Ninja, I think it's called, is actually creating. So for all those reasons, I have switched over to Fluent Forms. I have nothing bad to say about Gravity Forms. I think it's actually a really great product. I just think Fluent Forms is the better deal. I went ahead and picked up a lifetime license for myself, so I'll never have to buy a Forms plugin or a renewal ever again. Um, and I find it to be easier to use. I love that visual report on the Forms data. That, to me, is way more useful. Um, and um, that's it. Okay, so if you have any questions, definitely let me know.